Good morning. It is Friday. You guys are already busy this morning getting this uh, base rock pile going. Actually got about half of it gone, maybe more than that. But getting it all out there, getting, gonna get it tamped down, get started on pouring. The, before that, they gotta do the the iron works on all the all the foundation before they pour the floor. But anyways. Let's take a look and see what they've gotten done so far and what the plan is for the day. So we got some of this tamped down, some of it not so much. Still pretty muddy looking stuff, but it'll work. I'm going to throw gravel over this, this base uh, rock that they got going on over here. It's like, look at that. That area tampered down, this little area in between the living room and the dining area and the bathroom and, the, and this one will be done here shortly. Like they found a spot for all the big rocks that came in this. I'm just dumping it in there. That'll be fun if I ever have to get into it. Hopefully I never have to get into it. Moving right along today. It is scorching hot though. It is already it's 8.30 and, and uh, another thermometer when I walked out said uh, 29 Celsius. It might be more than that. We'll see how it goes for the day. So these guys are uh, doing old school tamping. I'm not sure. I guess he's just going to go around the edge because they still have the machine operated one. I think it does a lot better than just a hand tampering. But this is so they don't destroy it any other work that they've done. Kuya Foreman over here is uh, tamping down this little last little section. And now they're tamping the... the rest of this area. Our uh, kitchen. In our uh, dining room, these two seem to have gotten this uh, pretty working. This pretty good. So, I was just noticing something that these guys, almost all, every single one of these guys, no matter what type of job they're doing, they have some type of gloves on or one glove. I guess they share gloves or something. One guy's a left-handed glove on, the other guy got a right-handed glove on. It's a, uh, I guess one's a righty and one's a lefty, and they modify them to what they, uh, what they can use. I know I seen one yesterday. His gloves. Hey, can you show me your hands? Your hands. It's the other one. Both of them. Yeah, that one's about worn out. I'm sure his hands uh, got some blisters on those buggers. I'll do a little bit of inventory and take a look at uh, everything that we have right now on, on uh, site. We got hollow blocks. We got lots and lots of hollow blocks. So every three days, these guys are watering them down. We don't need them right now. I think we need them uh, a ways away. But there's two different types of, of hollow blocks besides the five inch and the four inch. I think we got two different vendors because these hollow blocks they're a uh, little the holes are a lot bigger and a little bit thinner on the sides it seems like to me I'm not sure but uh, that's what it looks like to me but the other stuff I sort of like a lot better but uh, we'll, we'll see and um, this might be all the same but definitely uh, the holes are a lot bigger here's the four inchers not very many of them those are just our inside walls this is what's left of base gravel. It's almost gone. It's got a little bit more to go. I think there's enough left right there to do the uh, parking garage whenever uh, they get the uh, septic tank dug out. I know they got to be getting there close. I mean, it's deep right now. And this is our uh, gravel mound. It's sort of two different types here. The stuff that I'm standing on, I like a lot better and then the stuff that it's underneath. It's sort of dirty, and this stuff is really clean and nice looking. Our sand pile of S1, that's all for our base, and we'll get uh, some uh, sand that's really shiny that they're going to use for uh, doing the, the walls and 
and everything. It's a it's really white sand from Pampanga. Side, so we got lots of rebar. Got lots of eight, ten. It's a nice uh, amount of sixteen still left. This is our uh, cement mix. The Eagle brand cement was the first stuff that we got, so we need to start. Uh, Working on that before we do the rest of that Republic. That's our second. You know, FIFO, I'm a supply guy from the military. So, you know, first in, first out. Well, this is sort of in the back. So, we'll get this out of here, I think, next. And right up there, we have four inch, three inch, and two inches. That's all of our sewage and water line for drainage. And then uh, right there's all of uh, one inches. They're gonna run our electrical through that instead of this uh, bendy stuff that they got. Uh, I don't know, I think the bendy works better in the walls, but uh, for setting up while we're just pouring, I think this is better to use than the bendy stuff. And it's easier to thread the, the wires through it. So I don't know if you can see down there, but our foreman's telling us that uh, we finally hit our natural soil for here. So we have three different little rainbow colors going on. And then uh, the very bottom where these guys are digging at is actually clay. So, uh, yay, we found the bottom. But it's a long, long ways down. The ladder, here's the ladder steps. It's, it's almost straight up and down. It's on its last ring at the very top. So... It, we're there. We got a nice solid ground way down here in the bottom for our septic tank. <laughs> Alrighty, it's afternoon. And the first thing I see is there's no pile of rock here. It is gone. And, wow, these guys got busy. They laid their gravel down already over here. And they're starting to lay out the rebar for our flooring. So they can pour it. But uh, before that happens, I know there's some questions. They're talking actually, won't, they won't do it until next week. Well, it is Friday, so tomorrow is the last work day for this week. So maybe Monday. Who knows? I don't know. There's a, there's a lot of what ifs, and we're waiting on our uh, contractor to make a couple decisions on a few things. But most of this can be done. Our center island and our kitchen needs to be wiring. And it should come up underneath uh, all this flooring. So I know they got to run a little bit of wiring stuff, but the electrician's supposed to come over here and do a bunch of other wiring at some point before these guys pour. And these guys are still digging. I think they're about done, though. I think that they actually hit bottom. They're in the real dirt right now. It's, it's solid stuff. And that is three meters, maybe a little bit more. It's it's over. It's we measured a little bit ago, and it was past nine feet, but just under ten. That was before they did this last layer. So I would say it's over ten feet deep. That hole is. So this is the beginning of the framing for the for our flooring. I know it's different than what they do in the United States because they usually pour it. Before you do your columns, this is how the way they do it here. And it's actually, we're doing it a little bit ahead. Usually I've seen them, well, especially the smaller one level houses, it's crazy. The last thing that gets poured is uh, your flooring. But uh, they're just uh, tying it to the little stubs off the hollow block. And they'll be going the other way with it and they've already laid laid down a bunch of this gravel we'll see how far i know they got some piping to do so we're gonna talk to the contractor here shortly uh he's supposed to have been here at one o'clock it's past one o'clock this is just the beginning of the rebar um it is going they're actually 30 centimeters apart at least they're going to be they're just laying them out right now and then wiring them in but we'll be crisscrossing and yeah for now they're just laying on the the rocks it will be lifted up before it's poured when they uh weave everything else through here i just talked to the foreman it'll be up quite a bit actually off the ground uh it's gonna be like one and a half inches maybe two inches or so so there's plenty of room for everything to work underneath the rebars and stuff. I was talking earlier about our, all of our hollow blocks. This hollow block has really big holes, 
but and a little bit thinner on the sides but when I flip it over <laughs> funny thing is the holes are a little That's bit small. smaller and we got a little bit more concrete <laughs> so it's all on the it's all about uh fabrication yeah the fabrication how they make these <laughs> interesting though all right these guys are moving along pretty good they're actually uh getting all this flooring in here they're uh, expediting this flooring they're gonna try to pour it tomorrow so since sunday they have it off and they'll be able to pour it out uh, tomorrow i suspect it's going to take them a half a day to get all this poured out so we'll see how this goes tomorrow i'll be excited once they have this flooring done and then i can uh, start bugging them some more on some other stuff that's going on we are prepping for tomorrow and the guys are getting everything ready so they can start pouring our flooring tomorrow our contractor was here and said hey Pour the flooring tomorrow, not Monday. So it gives it a day to click here up. So these guys are all uh, getting motivated. They pulled them all off of different things and uh, they're making the floor work. They're getting it all done and everything's all tied in so they can start seven o'clock tomorrow morning and start pouring. Hopefully we have a really good weather like we did today. Lots of sun, lots of heat. Oh. <laughs> Run into that peg. Four guys over here are working on uh, getting some of the having a little bit of struggles. At least it's uh, pretty wet still. There's a lot of water left in it, so I didn't get it completely cleaned out by the look of things. So. <laughs> <laughs> They're uh, moving right along. They're doing dowels, cutting and moving and getting everything out. There's a foreman over there uh, going over the blueprints, making sure everything is right. He's working on this spot right here. They're, just gonna, they're gonna put a, a little wall up right there, so he's uh, gonna do some extra stuff right in here. That's uh, gonna be our uh, little storage area. This little stake sitting right here is where our counter for our kitchen is going to be. We're running a one inch or a half inch uh, tubing from there all the way over to the corner. That's where we're going to put in electrical. Uh, making sure uh, that uh, is going to get in because there's no other way of uh, routing the electrical to uh, that counter right now. Since they don't have a rake for the cement or anything to be able to level it out guys are fabricating their own let's cut a, a little piece of steel off and then they put some more of this tubing and now he's super reinforcing it so this bad boy is gonna work really good for a long time they're gonna have this for a long time kind of love the sunglasses it's amazing no number 10 uh, lenses no not just sunglasses Oh my goodness, you should be wearing number 10. Yeah, very dark, so it doesn't hurt your eyes. Not using your sunglasses. I'm not even looking at it. You need your eyes for a lot of stuff. There you go. It is ready, reinforced and ready to go. It moves anything and everything. Wow. So, they still got a little bit more to go. I gotta build up this wall. Oh, there we go. Guys are trying to make it where they got to move everything just to just to get that downspout in here. Now they got it in. They are going to put this all together and try to get the pipe to come down. Pull it out. Yep. There we go. There we go. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, and he's going all the way top to push it in. <laughs> it works. It's all together now. Yeah, the glue that they use, I'm not sure about because it definitely ain't the stuff that we use in the United States. We use that two-part. This is just a single glue. I'm not sure. I've, I've heard it's okay. Maybe not as good as the stuff in the States. I'm not 100% sure. This is the first time seeing them, anybody using this glue for these pipes. So here we go once again. We laid all the rebar down, or they did, 
And now they're going to dig it out a little bit and move some stuff around so they can put this wall in. So, uh, yeah. I guess you can say one step forward, two steps back. I know I got to get up early because they're going to start pouring at, at 7 o'clock to get all this done. But they're struggling because they really packed it down over here. <laughs> Hey guys, I am here just to close our vlog. I'm not being part of the whole entire vlog. But anyway guys, thank you for watching and hope you like his video today. Cause I'm pretty sure you probably get a lot of tips from what happened all day. And if you guys haven't subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button below and don't forget to hit the bell button so you guys get notified for our next video. Thank you and see you again. Bye! -bye.